welcome to Purcell part two. To remind you, the work we're putting together in the form of a choral video uh, is a long work, about eight minutes in all. Uh, and it's mostly made up of a trio of vocal soloists and long solo passages for the organ. The full choir appears in just two passages, the first of which was the subject of Purcell part one. Thank you for all your submissions there. Uh, this is Purcell part two. Um, so this video has been made for that second full choir passage. I should really call this part one and a half. Uh, the reason being that this second passage is actually identical note wise to the first. The difference is one of performance. If you look at the last few bars, you will see the word writ. This means slow down. This passage comes right at the end of the piece, and by convention, this slowing into the final cadence is one of the ways that performers bring a piece of music to a satisfying conclusion. My voice on the backing track will guide you on the change of speed here, so do pay particular focus to that. It might take a few practices to get exactly right. We can't have people being either too fast or too slow here. If you look at the very final bar, you will see that the final chord holds on for three full beats. Again, this is to give a sense of finality. Once again, my voice over the backing track will help guide you here and elsewhere, so do listen. While we've got the score up on screen, it's probably worth reminding you as well about the rests, and particularly the takeoffs on Rejoice. It's very important that we place that letter C together, as it's highly audible when it's in the wrong place. To help with this, you'll hear my voice on the backing track saying OFF. And it's when I say OFF that you place that letter C. If that's something you struggle with or don't understand, remember you can just say rejoy without the S on the end, um, without the C on the end rather. A few people missing it out is much better than a single person putting it in the wrong place. As the notes are exactly the same as part one, I'm not including a note teaching section in this video. I try to avoid making these tutorials longer than they need to be. If you would benefit from a note refresher, can I encourage you to look in the description box beneath this video um, where I've included a link to part one. Part one, of course, does have a long note teaching um, section. Uh, and just to remind you as well, the choir is as good as the sum of its parts. Don't just sing whatever, do a single take and send it over to me, uh, regardless of whether it's good or bad. Make sure you do your best. So, if you're not sure about something after the practice passages that will follow, do go back to part one and do the note learning exercises again. You have a whole week to send me 30 seconds of music. You have time to practice, to get it right, and to send over something you're proud of. And of course, if you are struggling, you don't need to suffer in silence. Be in touch with me uh, directly if you're 18 or over, and through your parents or guardians if you're under 18. I'm here to help. Uh, that's my job. I promise you won't be bothering me. I'm as interested in you doing your absolute best as you are. So now we're going to get the school and the backing track up on screen and we have an opportunity to do a few practice sessions. One, two, three, clap to.
one, two, three, clap to. Off. Off. record yourself. In fact, you can technically record yourself using any of the renditions you've heard already. They're all synced to the same backing track. Whichever bit you use, you must remember the key points. You must shoot your video in landscape. You must record yourself singing along to the backing track over earphones. And your video must include silence at the start and a clap when I say clap. We're all veterans at this process now, but but still every week I get someone or some people who, who get it ever so slightly wrong. Um, send your videos over to me, preferably by WhatsApp, um, by next Friday, 10th of July. Uh, incidentally, 10th of July was the date we had down for our choir concert. Perfection is unlikely to come in a single take, and that's okay. In fact, that's the way it should be. So do listen back to yourself, critique your recording, and have a think about some things that might make it better. This process will help ensure you send over something you're happy with, and it's also great brain training. It's great musical training, getting you to think in this way. Most importantly, most importantly, enjoy yourself. It doesn't get any better than Purcell. Um, it's a joy to listen to, it's a joy to sing, to play, to experience. So have fun and enjoy um, making music. Here comes the score and the backing track. One, two, three, clap two. One, two, three. 